Okay, so we're gonna make a paper elephant while I ask you questions. Okay. Eh? Together. Wait, is this, hold on, is it? Okay, yeah, so open it up. I will start. Okay, yeah, go so, ahead. Yeah, let's do this. When she called me and asked me about this role, at that time I was in a very confused period of my life. I was so busy and uh, I was struggling to, to get the audition to, to self tape. And uh, I remember that she's been so patient because she made her decision. She said, I, I want you. I'm pretty sure you're perfect for, for this role. And so in some way the connection was, there was a connection before we got connected. I don't know how to explain it another way. And uh, when we found out each other on the set and our actually first meeting, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I felt immediately connected to her in a maternal way. So with a sense of protection, uh, uh, with the desire that she could be happy in her life and uh, so I don't know, I'm pretty emotional as kind of person. I cry all the time. Everybody knows it on set. Uh, but I really feel like if she was part of my life and this desire to see her happy and to see her uh, stopping struggling with the issues of life, uh, that was, at that time I felt it like an urge. And uh, for a woman that didn't have kids in her life, uh, that was pretty surprising. So it, it's been a very moving uh, uh, kind of relationship. That's what I think about it. Yeah, I, I feel similar because uh, the moment I saw her audition, it was just, this is it. Because she gave off that energy, I split the characters of of the mom in the show and and, and Anita, I split. There was there are split versions of my mother. She really lifted up that character in a way like she was already that 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 fun that just wanted to live life and and explore and non judgmental to, to a degree. And it was it, it was just like. This is, she's already the character. I am a character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have idea how to do this. I think uh, I don't have that kind of intelligence. I feel stupid. <laughs> I, I, I did, I, I, I did too. It's okay. Um, okay, so one. Ah, that's my problem. I don't read the structures. <laughs> I okay. think I'm more intelligent than that, but actually I'm not. This is 10. Okay, so I need to attach. Oh, so we can Oh, okay. So Got this, it. so I need to attach um, this into here. So this is a hole. I have to okay. put my finger in the hole. <laughs> what are your favorite moments? Oh my Ooh. God. My favorite. Uh, is the Bridges of Madison County with Meryl Streep Francesca. and yes, oh my oh, god, oh, I, I yeah, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> guilty. And no matter how many times I've seen it, I'm like, open the door, open the door. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of older movies starting from the 1930s and up. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Ginger Rogers, and everything. But that movie, it just hits me in a way that. No matter how many times I watch it, it's like watching it for the first time. Mm. Ah. Favorite movies. How many? Uh, Dearest Mom, Dearest Mommy is one of those. Uh, Working Girl, another one. And then I have several movies. Uh, there's one, the, the title in Italian is uh, Travolti da un insolito destino, un azzurro mare d'agosto. And I think in English is Sway or something like that. 
and the director was a woman oh. and she was an amazing director she was fantastic so i love drama like her i love crying uh watching movies but i love also empowering uh, movies especially for women this so this stays flat here and oh, then and then this should um she's doing it i let her do it so when, when it's time to cook and clean call me but <laughs> got the stuff. if you could choose one superpower what would it be time traveling mm -hmm. i would love to go now that I've learned the lesson, you know, going back in time and fix what I did wrong. Yeah, that would be nice. I would love to fly. Or no, teleportation, because I want to just, just get, if I, especially if I'm running late or something, I can just, <laughs> just, uh, I can do like the whole Bewitch thing. Or the, or the, no, no, that was Jai Dreamer Genie. Or do the Bewitch thing with the nose and just get to where I need to be. Huh. Okay. See? She's more practical. That's for sure. Would you guys rather have a personal chef or personal trainer? Personal chef. I don't want to work out. Personal trainer. Uh, I'm structured to do nothing. <laughs> so a personal trainer will force me to exercise. You have your Italian mom, you don't need a chef. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I did that. And, um, and then there's another bridge. This is the other bridge. What was the last gift you gave to someone? Who and what? Maybe I should skip the last one. Uh, the last one, the last gift was to my brother when I went to Italy last time and he was uh, remodeling his house, his apartment, uh, but with the goal to put the remodeling in his portfolio as an architect. That's really cool. So, uh, so I gave him a check to cover the hardwood floor. That was the last gift. Um, the last gift um, was for my brother's birthday. Um, it was like a couple weeks ago. Um, I, well, it, it wasn't like a physical item. I more like just like made him breakfast and ordered him pizza whenever he wanted for like a good two weeks. And so um, I guess acts of service in a way, because um, he, already, he already got himself a, a massage chair. I mean, he, he fulfilled that happiness. So I was like, you know, you got that for yourself. I'll make you breakfast in the mornings on the weekends and, um, and order you pizza when you want. And so um, just little things like that. Uh, but yeah, that was the last gift I gave someone. Taking care of them. Yeah. But I'll probably. Yeah. What was a great memory you had with each other on set of here? There was a lot of sweetness and a lot of peace and the desire uh, to make a very well written story real and I noticed that all of us and this team is mainly made of women uh, and I found that really really moving uh, the fact that all of us were working for the same purpose and you know uh, and their dream was getting a shave you know and I found it amazing so I have a very sweet memory of it. Yeah, I, I um, 
the the scene that really I feel that um, that connected us was was this was actually I think the last scene we shot was when mm -hmm. I was um, in tears because uh, Leah told me to never talk to her again and later on we find out that it was her mother um, but I always have those moments with even my mother and I I just start crying and I just go to her and and like I don't there's there's no need for dialogue and I feel like sometimes we try to fill up space even in real life with that with just dialogue but sometimes we just need someone to just comfort you and just to just just to comfort you and just to help you feel better and I feel like that was such a real moment and uh, I yeah I really loved it yeah it was nice it was pretty moving yeah yeah, yeah that's true that's and I literally true. called my mom before <laughs> He had to help to to be, and to help me cry just by saying like I miss I miss you mom I miss you mom that helped to bring out the tears so um, yeah it, it really was a real moment yeah but moms you know are the most important part of our life in, Ita in Italy we have a quote a way to say that is that it says uh, who's got mom who's got mom doesn't cry because she's always there to take care of us, to comfort us, to, to provide for us. I gave up a long time ago. But why should I humiliate myself? <laughs> Do you guys like Los Angeles? Why well, this is not my home. Um, uh, LA has its pros and cons, um, but I I prefer Georgia. Georgia. Um, I was born and raised in Rome, so that for me, Rome is uh, it's the most beautiful place. Uh, but. LA, uh, it's always ups and down, but I like the way I am in LA. Uh, the image, it's a, it's a mirror where I, where I can see the best part of myself. This city forces me uh, in some way to, to be the best version of myself. And uh, despite the emptiness, Know, a desert city there's this kind yeah, of city very dry. It, it's uh on the other hand it's full mm -hmm. it's full of opportunities it's full of diversity it's a beautiful and tolerant melting pot even though there is a, a sort of sugar coat on almost everything mm -hmm. but that kind of distance that people put between each other give us the chance to think about uh, what's going on and what we want to be. Uh, so there are pros, pros and cons, but mainly for me is the chance to be the best version of myself. And I really, I'm really grateful for that. Really, really grateful. I, I, I um, can agree with that because when I first came to LA, uh, it was like my way of finally coming out of my shell and figuring out and just giving giving this dream a shot. Because um, everyone comes to either like New York or LA to, to, to pursue their passion or their dreams. And so it really helped me to come out of that and really give it a really big shot. And I'm so happy I did it because I wouldn't be the person I am today if I did not give it a shot. Yeah, the city changes you. Well, I would love to see my daughters happy, both of them, and uh, accomplished and in peace with themselves, first of all, and uh, with a lot of love. 
loved. I would love to see them loved. And the same thing for me, so I can wait to meet Sam. <laughs> yeah, your boo thing. Um, I would, I would love her to. I would love my character to just learn more about life. Um, I feel like she lives through the words that she writes, but not actually living. Which uh, kind of comes back to me as well. Um, and but I, I want her to really live live through real experiences and not just write about it. So which acting methods do you think are best for you? I don't know about that. I studied Stanislavski method uh, and I found myself pretty okay with it. Um, I've always been very, very connected with my inner world, uh, being kind of I always describe myself like skinless, so my emotions go through my skin very, very easily. Um, and uh, so observation, sensitivity, uh, being, being, living the now and uh, here, uh, I think is the best way to be an actor because if you are detached from the reality how can you portray it and uh, so I live of empathy and skinless so it's easy for me to go to pick into my world and try to transform in something else uh, that's usually my process so without disturbing you know the big Teachers, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I love to um, to sit with the character for a minute and take notes and get to know who they are and how can I relate to them? How can I how can I bring them to life in my own way? Um, because every every person can bring out a character in different ways. So, so I love to really just live in the character for a minute and just let that all go and really be, be my version of that character. So, the, the years are, yeah. Other way? Yeah. No, no, no. So, you do it, like, Mom. No, no, like this, right? Because this is the front, okay. so if I don't see the the pink part, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, maybe this way. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, it's on yeah. the other side. Oh, other side? Uh, my love, these are the eyes. No, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. way. Yeah, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Yeah. 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 Okay. My brother bought some fake elephant tusk. It was quite interesting. Okay. Okay, so then this has to go somewhere. Um, Are you sure? Oh, uh, that's a good interview. Ah, so you're, you're torturing us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> just has to be. Okay. Oh, at least at least have the elephant there. I have a flower for you, okay? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Thank you for following us and for supporting us and all that we're doing. And uh, there's so much more to come. And we're so excited to just see these characters flourish through the wonderful cast that we have and, and with the help of our wonderful crew. So thank you so much.